Hello and welcome to my channel Crying Fly. My name is Steve and today I will show how can you install the program Fusion 360 on your Linux system. I use OpenSUSE Leap 15.2 with the XFGE desktop environment and what we need is to install two programs. The first one we need Wine. I have chosen the Wine version 5.0 from the standard repository from OpenSUSE. Then we need the P7 zip minus fall package. This is for the extract installer. And yes. And now we change to my desktop and starts with the installation of Fusion 360. So now we opening the YAS tool. And we opening the software center. And yes, we wait. And now we can search here for the wine package and you can see I have found the wine version 5.0 and when I scroll down you can see the wine tricks package and you can see I installed this package from the standard repository from OpenSUSE and then we search for the p7zip minus full package and click on it and we install these packages now so then we must wait a little bit and now I make a little cut here and then I continue the installation So now we can see it that the packages are already installed and now I switch to my notice and we can see the first point we have finished and the next one is we must reboot our system. So the next one is we opening the terminal. And we opening the system task manager so we can see what it goes on when I download the installer. And later we can see what happens when we run the Fusion 360 custom install. And yes. So I think I create another workspace. So I have three workspaces for the installation and it's better to handle the installation of Fusion 360 
on my computer. And now we opening wine tricks. And now we can see that wine needs another package. It's wine mono. And we must install this. And then we must wait. And you can see the wine tricks window. And yes. And now wine configure itself wine tricks starts so and here can we see that wine tricks create an 64 bit windows wine archive folder for me and yes and here can you see and see the information about wine wine and, and now we click the standard wine prefix and yes yes now we are asked if we want to help wine tricks i choose yes yes okay and now we can see some tasks what we can do and here we can install some window WinDLL files. The next one is we can install some fonts. The next is we can, we can configure wine. And, and here can you maybe delete your files or programs that you installed in your Rhyme prefix and here you can create a new one. Okay. So what is the next point what we are doing now? I change to my notes. And now we will install the patches and when we go to the right side and we can see the package DXYK and this is a Vulkan based translation layer for Direct 3D 9, 10 and 11 which allows us to running 3D applications on Linux with Wine. Okay, then we start the configuration we switch to wine tricks on install fonts and we search for the package core fonts we click on it and we install it and now now we get an information that we can have problems in the future when we install programs to a wine prefix that use a 64-bit basis basis for these programs and packages. But we ignore the warning and continue with the installation of the fonts. And yes. And now we can see here that the installer create the folders and extract the fonts into this. And here we click OK and we repeat this until the installation is finished. OK. So now we check whether the font package has been and been incorrectly and here we can see 
that our fonts have been installed correctly. Okay, now we change to my notice and we install the next package. PC run 2017, click on install Windows DLL. Now we scroll down, down, down and search for this package. Click on it and click OK. Now we can install the Microsoft Visual C++ 2017. This is the 32-bit version of the installer. When we finish this installation, then the second installer, and this is the 64-bit version of this program. Okay, that was. And we have installed this package already. And now we install this three packages. We go back to two tricks and we search for these packages. We scroll down and here is it. We click on this package and install the first one. Then we install the second one. And we can see and hear the installer. Uh, and yes, we install this. And we install the last one. Now we can see a uh, arrow but it's not so bad for our fusion 360 i can promise you you will start in the future anywhere also i have tested this installation several times each time rebuilding the operation system and it worked. it worked so i make here a little cut and then we continue the installation So and the next one is we install the, the last package. This is DXYK. There we we have also some arrows, but we ignore this. this. So the next one is we change the Windows version from Windows XP to the Windows version 8 and this version works perfectly with Fusion 360. When you start later Fusion 360 you don't get an error message for changing your Windows version. And I have found it that the version Windows 10 
it doesn't work so good as like the Windows 8 version for Wine. Then I will show my configuration in the libraries and now you can see that, that I won't change anything there. Okay, now we change the Windows version from Windows XP to Windows 8. And then we accept this configuration and continue the installation of Fusion 360. So we change to my notice and you can see the next step is we create a folder for the Fusion installer and download this file and after this you run, run these four commands and yes. Okay, we change now to the terminal and we change to the downloads folder and then create a new folder and the name of this folder is Fusion 360. Okay, then we go into this folder We copy this comment And we downloaded the Fusion 360 installer now. And here can you see what goes on. And now I make here a little cut and then, then we continue the installation. So it's finished and now we extract this installer with this command and we run the other commands after this and later we run the custom installer of Fusion 360.
So now I change my desktop so we can better see what happens when we run the new custom installer from Fusion 360. So I copy this command into the terminal and run it now. Now it works. Here can you see that the installer downloads the files and I make here the next cut. So it's completed and we open the explorer and check the folder where the fusion installer installs the files and yes. And here we can see that we have two folders. In one of these folders are the, the run file of Fusion 360. And in the other folder are the rest of the files of Fusion 360. And when we now open the start menu, we can see that Wine has created a starter for this program here. And we copy this command into our terminal. Then we run this command now. But it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. My comment is wrong. And I must look what this happened. Ah, okay. Now it's one. And we come to the welcome screen of Fusion 360. And now we log into our account of Fusion 360 and then starts the program into the box box of Fusion 360. It takes a short moment.
and we can see the workspace of Fusion 360 now. Now we get an information about Fusion 360. We click OK. okay. And when I go to the left side, you can see my folders here. And when I go to my folder bikes, then we can see a project there. And when I opening this one, we have the problem now that we can't see this one in the construction workspace now. But we can change the workspaces here. And my version of Fusion 360 is 2.0.9719. So, then we go here and change the DirectX from automatic to DirectX 9. And save this. Then we close this program now and go to the next point where we configure the libraries of Wine. And yes. Now we change to my notice and you can see what we are finished now. So the next one is to change these options here and this. Now we opening the wine configuration and change this option step by step. After this, we save this and close the wine configuration center. Now we can run the Fusion 360 program again with this comment here. And we must also wait for a moment, please. And here can you see it works. You can see now the construction workspace and when I opening now my project here then we can see the object here in the construction workspace. So that was for today and in the next videos I show you what can you do now with this program and where I show you how, how you can get one or the other function to work here in Linux and yes. I thank you for watching 
and if you like my video then give me please a thumb up and subscribe my channel crying fly and don't forget to click on the little ring here so you don't miss any news in the future okay that was and we see us in the next time and goodbye